Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about a sudden pattern change that'll be happening over the next 24 to 48 hours with a strong cold front that'll drop temperatures by as much as 20 to 30 degrees in some areas. This will also bring a lot of rainfall to much of the United States. To those that desperately need rainfall, there might even be a little bit of snow to go along with that. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today, and we'll begin with this big low pressure system that is centered over parts of the northern plains and southern Canada. You actually will notice on the infrared imagery that twirl that you'll see there, just north of Minnesota, that is the centered low pressure system that is sitting back up there to the north. We have a cold frontal boundary, though, that is extending from about Indiana back into parts of Oklahoma, and it's about to be pushing to Texas, a bit more curved like this, and it'll be dropping down to the south over the next 24 hours bringing cooler weather and with that being said we're going to get a strong southerly wind to start pulling moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico allowing for rainfall across much of the southern tier of the United States including the Gulf Coast and as well as back through the Ohio Valley so two areas to watch for for some rainfall over the next 24 to 48 hours which is very good news especially for those near the Gulf Coast as they are in a pretty serious drought right now near an exceptional level across parts of Louisiana right now down in the southeast we have a high pressure system offshore and that's going to continue to drift off to the east over the next several days. But we are going to continue to see dry and as well as warm weather for much of the east coast and as well as back through the southeast, including Florida, Georgia, and as well as Alabama. Back over on the west coast, it's drying out there. We've been seeing some atmospheric rivers across the Pacific Northwest. Those are beginning to wind down, and we don't have a whole lot of rain activity there anymore, so that's some good news. And also just a little another feature, this afternoon we have been seeing a little bit of flurry action across northern Michigan and as well as the upper Michigan Peninsula, but overall that activity is starting to kind of move out now. Now here's the look at the temperatures across the United States this evening, and again, you'll notice the cold front on this map. It extends from Michigan back into parts of the Southern Plains, and the good news is, if you're down in Texas, you are going to see this by tomorrow. So that cold front will be pushing through much of Texas tomorrow, and as well as much of the Ohio Valley. So as we go into motion here, as we go into tomorrow morning, notice that cold front is already pushing through Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Texas. By the time we get to the evening hours tomorrow, almost 50 to 60% of Texas is going to be through this cold front right around seven o'clock tomorrow evening so again here's your cold front it's going to be pushing through tennessee and as well as back through parts of virginia west virginia and pennsylvania by the time we go into friday almost all of texas will see this cold front move through then only exception might be beaumont by around the evening hours but it should plow through there by that time as we go into saturday morning that cold front will get close to florida but notice florida is really the one exception to this entire cold front maybe southern arizona as well back down in florida will still be in the 80s by saturday afternoon and that cold front really will not make much of an appearance to most of Florida. Florida is actually going to probably stay warm for the next several days. I don't think that cold front will move through much of Florida. If it moved through Florida, it would be on the northern side of the state. Here's what it looks like for the temperature anomalies. This gives us an idea from above average to below average temperatures across the board in your particular region. And as we go over throughout the next several days, again, notice the above average temperatures are all going to sit in the southeast United States after today. We will see some areas and some pockets of below normal temperatures. So in the northeast, for example, Texas as well as we go into Sunday afternoon so the temperatures will be slightly below average but overall the trend is that we're going to probably stay around if not above average for most of the country throughout the next several days even though we're going to see a cold front look at the northern plains by the way going into Wednesday we could be talking about close to record breaking high temperatures across parts of the northern plains and as well as the midwest as we go closer to Friday and Saturday of next week changes do not seem imminent it is going to stay very warm it looks like as we go into next week at least for this time of the year a little comparison here, the high temperatures that we observed today, 90s down in Texas, we got as high as 95 degrees in some spots, which is just crazy for November. Also here, the temperatures going into Friday, so big difference here. These are, again, high temperatures. These aren't even low temperatures. We'll be talking about 50s and maybe low 60s at best across parts of Texas going into Friday. So again, completely different story across the board, and it is going to be felt across many of those areas. You might have to go from shorts and a t-shirt and some sunscreen to potentially a winter jacket in a few 
few spots going into the morning hours. Here's the future radar for the next several days, and really the main thing we're watching for over the next 24 hours is the rainfall, because we'll be watching for rain and maybe some flurries back into the northeast. New England could actually pick up upwards of a coating to maybe a half an inch in some spots. It'll probably be more of a slushy coating across those areas, because it'll be mainly during the morning tomorrow. But notice down in the southern plains, as we go into Thursday afternoon, a lot more rainfall is going to be starting to fall across those areas. That is because of that strong southerly wind, all meeting with a cold front, leading to a lot of moisture, a lot of rising air that's going to lead to some rainfall across much of Texas and as well as Oklahoma, back into Arkansas as well, and eventually into Louisiana as we go into the morning hours on Friday. As we go into Saturday, we'll start to notice a high pressure system building again across parts of the Midwest. That is going to start to warm those areas up, unfortunately. We're going to start to get a strong southerly wind across those areas. Meanwhile, on the Gulf Coast, very beneficial rainfall from Texas back into parts of Florida as we go into Saturday. By Sunday, that rain will continue. Again, very beneficial. I can't stress that enough. Really nice rainfall for those that need it, especially with the drought that's ongoing there. By the time we get to Monday into Tuesday, there's really no signs that this is leaving. So we actually could see some isolated localized flooding when this is all said and done. By the time we get to Wednesday, high pressure will start to move to the east. That'll start to move into areas along the east coast. We'll still be looking at some rainfall again along the Gulf Coast with all the moisture. By the time we get to next weekend, things become fairly uncertain, but we don't have really any major storms in the forecast over the next seven to ten days, which is good news if you're not really looking forward to severe weather, because again, we are technically in our second severe weather season, but we've really not seen any severe weather for the last 30 to 45 days. Knock on wood, because again, hopefully we don't see any, but it's definitely going to be in the picture at some point, I would assume, sometime this month. Here's a look at the rainfall over the next seven days. Really the most focus that you're going to see here across the board in terms of rainfall is going to be along the Gulf Coast, primarily in southern Texas. Some areas actually could pick up as much as four to six inches of rain. The key, again, at the bottom of your screen. Uh, some areas, even in Louisiana, could as well pick up upwards of a half an inch to maybe even three inches of rain in a couple isolated locations. So again, good news if you're looking forward to rainfall in those locations. Now to summarize everything up for the next seven to ten days, one of the biggest trends that we're going to see going into next week, this isn't this week, this is late next week, into the following week. So as we get closer to Thanksgiving, notice the temperatures across most of the United States will likely be above average. So unfortunately, again, if you're looking forward to that winter weather, it's really not going to be happening anytime soon. We are going to continue to see this warm trend. Only exception would be back over in California, Nevada, and Arizona. A little bit different there. We'll be looking at some below normal temperatures, most likely, as we go later into this month. Overall precipitation for the next several days, this would be for next week. This would be from Tuesday until Saturday. Uh, overall, we're looking at above normal precipitation for the West Coast and as well as back near the Gulf Coast. And again, over to the north and parts of the Midwest, Northern Plains, and as well as New England, it'll be below normal overall. So again, not really any good news there. By the way, I did want to mention that the Climate Prediction Center released their latest winter forecast. This was a few weeks ago, but I haven't really brought it up in our main forecast. We did make a winter forecast on this and our own winter forecast. If you want to check that out, you can go to the front page of our YouTube channel. But I did want to mention that the Climate Prediction Center did release their forecast, and this is the temperature outlook for this winter from December until February. Near normal temperatures are more likely than not across parts of the Southern Plains. I wouldn't be surprised if some areas were slightly above normal or slightly below normal. It's just kind of how it's going to go with this El Nino pattern. Basically, the northern tier and the western tier of the United States will be the areas that are going to be above normal for temperatures this winter. Precipitation-wise, some good news if you're in the southern plains and as, as well as back through the southeast. A uh, better tornado potential will exist across parts of the southeast this winter, so keep that in mind. A bit more of an increased severe weather risk likely to be in play for this winter, especially near January and February. But anyway, if you'd like to look at more on what's going to happen this winter across the United States, including more specifics on your region, check out our winter forecast. It's on the front page of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the button down below and subscribe if you've not already.